everyone, this is Marty from WomenSpeakers.com here today with one of our featured speakers, Jennifer Cadamore. Welcome to you, Jennifer. Well, thank you, Marty. This is <laughs> Marty Tell. You know, oh I know you because I, I, you know, we've known each other at WomenSpeakers.com forever and you know me, but we've never even had a chance to have a conversation, so. I know. So. I know. I wish we were sitting right next to each other, but this is the next best thing. So. Nice first thing. Yeah, get to hug each other's necks sometime soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in because I want to pick your brain a little bit today about your experience uh, as a speaker and as a partner with WomenSpeakers.com. So first of all, um, you utilize events publicity at WomenSpeakers.com and that's something that I don't see a lot of speakers doing, but I think it's a super option. What, what has been your experience with that? My experience with that has been Actually, it's really interesting because I have had so many people who who want me to use that, who want me to help them promote their events. Right. And I've never had anybody actually say to me, no, we'll handle it all ourselves. Um, you know, we'll take care of all that. They've all been, what, they pick my brain, right? And they ask me, well, how can we further do this? How can we utilize everything out there to get the word out? So. That's what I do, and then whenever anybody gets on actually to check out, you know, if they're looking for a speaker and they get on there, they can see that. And so, um, that's been my, it's been a very positive experience to use that. Cool. And I actually had somebody who just literally, within the last uh, two months, looked at the speaker site and was just looking for somebody in the area, found me, and was praying what to, um, you know, have to be and I spoke on truth that day and so they went right to the site and it was it was just perfect we got matched so, up um, so. tell us how you handle the money thing everybody does it different but what do you how do you think about the money piece of speaking okay so with the money issue that was really awkward for me in the beginning because uh, how do you do that right but I learned over the course of time that my ministry is about God it is about teaching about him so to him be the glory and i allow i do love offering and travel at this point that's just what i feel comfortable with because honestly between me and you i do it for free but i have i have expenses right <laughs> right right i'm so passionate about people being in the word of god and how it transforms your life so i have to have the money for that right so i have to at least ask for something and, and be you know have have my expenses, you know, be returned in regard to, you know, gasoline and things like that. So, but I do have expenses. And also for my conferences that I host, you know, that costs money to rent a place. It costs money, hey. Hey. everything under the sun. So that's how I handle that. I just, and if it's not within their budget, then we work with it. But I honestly have never, it is amazing. It blows my mind how good God is and how generous he is. And he's the one who's funding this ministry when it comes right down. So I trust in him to, to take care of that for me. And he has, oh. and yeah, it's, it's been amazing. I love to hear how you started with that. It wasn't possible at the beginning and it has become something that is now a joy. And I think that that's my heart for you guys that are listening today is that you get to the point where this is not a big deal anymore, where this money piece, it's just, it's just like everything else. Where is the event at? How much are we going to talk about the money? You know, it's just one of the things you're talking about instead of this big scary thing. And one of the things, you know, um, is that when you are working with a planner and she hasn't really done this before, sometimes they don't even, they haven't thought about it. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. And so it's okay to just to just bring it up and to just talk it through. You right. know, it's just like anything else she hasn't thought of. How are you going to publicize this? You know, well, I can help by putting it that one. You know, I mean, you just talk it through like you talk through anything so, else. So, well, we weren't going to say anything if the lights went off, but you know what? No, we have to. <laughs> so, so my house is totally under construction. So people are so, they have a so many camera and everything there. So I couldn't be there. So I came where I usually come, but I couldn't do the way you should get in this room. The light keeps going off <laughs> every few minutes. So anyway, we're just going to do the job. So I'll just start whispering now. No, I'm not going to whisper. Okay. Jennifer, um, so what has been your experience with WomenSpeakers.com? Maybe just uh, share a little bit about how long you've been with us, uh, how it's how it's gone for you, maybe some insights that you've learned or experienced. Well, okay, so I joined back in 2000, late 2014, early 2015, I believe, uh, because uh, I had my ministry since 2011, but because my, my sons were still 
until very young, uh, I didn't feel God was leading me to kind of branch out more until later on. So that's when I launched my website, and then that's when I, I got involved with uh, Women Speakers. So what I love about Women Speakers, well, first of all, I, I love you. So you have oh. <laughs> so many tips, and you have so much to offer us. It's just wonderful. And um, what I really love, though, is when I get on there and I see all the women that are doing God's work, I just think that... Right? Like, like God uses everybody in their own capacity, in their own little corner. And I just say, Lord, you know, raise them up, like from the war room, right? Raise them up with all these women. And I look at them and I think, oh my goodness, you know, they're in North Carolina and they're in Washington. And I'm in here, little Sarver, PA, right? You know, and God is using all of us to preach the gospel, to get the word out about his, about his son and about the good news. And how exciting is that? So that's what I love, just when I see the site, just... All the women who are willing to do God's work. Mm. Yeah, I sit back here too, and I feel so blessed and honored for the privilege of having, just getting to rub shoulders with you guys is just such a thrill for me. <laughs> well, yeah. Blessing for everybody, right? For all of us just to be connected. Yes. That's yes. Sisters in Christ. So. That's great. One of the things that I just did earlier today, in fact, I was sitting down with another gal, we were planning a retreat, and um, we were thinking of titles and I just went online you go to womenspeakers.com, just go to where the topics are and you just type in the words you're looking at. You see all these ideas, yes. you know, and even though we weren't going to bring in a speaker or anything for this, because her and I are going to do the speaking, but um, it, it, it was just so fun and it just felt like such a partnership, right? Uh, it's so much bigger than just going there to invite a speaker. Absolutely. And then you go on and you find out who's going to best suit your need, right? If they are, you know, if they're going to fit your budget, if they're going to, um, if they have the topic that, that you want. But it's it's just amazing, like I said, how God uses each and every one of us to to do His work, right? We are accomplished. Absolutely. This is, it's just so exciting to me. It is awesome. And where do you, actually, where do you get most of your speaking leads? I get them, um, I would say, several for women speakers and then okay. it's down from there right like like people see that on there and then I go to speak and then um, and then it's word of mouth I've had a lot of yeah. is, oh, that's such a blessing to me that that means right. so um, and then for my website you know if my website's been thrown out there people have you know gone on that and taken a look so it's it's like a combination of several things so do you, do you have a favorite theme verse for your ministry or for life Okay, so one of my favorites is what God led me to seven years ago, and that was, His word is in my heart like a fire, a fire shut up in my bones. I am weary of holding it in, indeed I cannot. And that is something that when I was crying out to God, asking Him what He wanted me to do with all that He has taught me, uh, that was the scripture that He led me to. And I. Yes, yes, that is exactly describing what I feel. I can't even hold it all in anymore. I just can't wait to teach it to somebody. <laughs>